What's up, Dog Pound? Nathan Zagura here with the Hump Day edition of the Browns Huddle. With the season in the books, the next big note on the calendar is the NFL Draft, and all eyes focused on that for the Cleveland Browns with the number two overall pick in the draft and two of the first 32 picks in the draft. So Matt Miller from Bleacher Report, you can follow him on Twitter at NFL Draft Scout. Join us today on Cleveland Browns Daily and for the full interview, you can certainly get that here on clevelandbrowns.com or the Browns mobile app. But he went through a full seven round mock draft for every team in the NFL, not including the compensatory picks yet because they have not been released post Super Bowl. And here's what he had for the Browns in the first four rounds. At number two overall, quarterback Carson Wentz of North Dakota State. Now, on his own individual board, Jared Goff is the number one overall player. He says the Browns may decide to go with Goff for his smarts, his functional movement in the pocket, his accuracy, but he thinks that Hugh Jackson, coming from his time with Andy Dalton, will be enamored by the size and the arm strength of Wentz, who dominated at the FCS level at North Dakota State. In round number two, he has the Browns getting a weapon. Will Fuller, the wide receiver from Notre Dame, who averaged 20.3 yards per catch last year. The six-footer can take a top off the defense and has 30 touchdowns in 29 career starts at Notre Dame. In the third round, he has the Browns coming back and addressing the inside linebacker position. I like that line of thinking. Ben Brown from Mississippi State, who had 99 tackles last year, coming out to junior 6'1", about 230 pounds. He's good sideline to sideline and could fill a big need for the Browns in the interior of this 3-4 defense under Ray Horton. And then finally in the fourth round, the Browns get Jordan Howard. Many of you know him from Indiana, 6'1", about 225 pounds, averaged 135 yards per game in the Big Ten last year, second in the conference, including a game where he erupted for over 230 against Michigan's fifth-ranked defense. Defense. So for the complete draft, you can go ahead and follow him on Twitter at NFL Draft Scout. Head over to Bleacher Report, look up Matt Miller, and get the full seven rounds. But that's where he has the Browns going in the top four rounds. That'll do it for today's edition of the Browns Huddle. Keep it tuned to CleanBrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for the latest on your Browns.